Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be going over wormhole identification. And this is kind of the kickoff to my wormhole series that I'm going to be getting into. I guess we can call it Wormhole Wanderer. I posted a infographic on the community side of the channel. And this is a uh, infographic that will help with visually identifying wormholes. So through this series is going to be mainly explore, exploring and staying inside wormhole space. And for this inaugural episode, we're just going to visit and scan a bunch of different wormholes. And we're just going to look at them and we're going to try to visually identify where they go roughly and what their allowed mass is based on that info chart that I have. This is also an exercise for me because I am going to get probably really into wormholing in the near future. So it I'll be doing this as an exercise and just as much as you guys will be watching and learning and all that stuff too. And that's kind of the goal. The goal is for us both you as a viewer and me to just get really good at looking at a wormhole and knowing as much information as we can. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a few of them already scanned down. So what we'll do is we'll warp out to 100. Once we get on grid, we'll actually look at them, right click and look at the wormhole. The reason we want to do that is so that we can rotate or orbit the camera around so we can get different perspectives on the orbs to help identify. We'll be looking for things like color. That will help us associate C type or it'll help us identify empire space. And then we're going to be looking at the aura. The aura is going to be what we're going to be looking at for judging the mass and what can be uh, what class of ships or what size ships can go through it. So I'm really excited for this. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll do quite a few of them in this video so we can get kind of in the groove. And then uh, if we don't get it, obviously, we'll, you know, that's the whole reason we're going to sit here and do this so we can get better at it. The infographic that I was talking about, this is located in the community tab. So you can actually, if you're on your computer, you can go to the community tab, you can open it in a separate tab, and you can actually download this. This is a 1080p image, so you can actually set it as a background. So I made this kind of for myself as a little like a cheat sheet. I can have it on the other monitor over here, so we can all just kind of, at a glance, just have that reference. So just walking you through kind of what all this means. These in the top, these represent the different C class types. So this is what a C1 would look like, C2, all the way through C6. And this is what a Terra would look like, and then this is the different classes here. So you have small, medium, large, extra large. And then down here is just some information. This is just like what a Galante hole would look like. But like the different colors for Empire Space will be present there. They'll be a, um, a little dark for... You know, you'll, you'll be able to tell the actual Empire colors pretty distinguishably. And null sec will be really really dark you will see very much color at all and then low sec will be a little bit darker as well and then high sec will be probably the most vibrant of the uh, four colors and then also down here there's information about the uh, wobbling effect as it gets older and like how the size actually decreases as it ages as well so using this you'll be able to once you get really good at identifying We'll still want this as a reference, but you'll be able to very quickly look at this and have a visual representation and kind of a guide to help you kind of quickly identify. So you don't necessarily have to, you know, look at it, rotate around it, or even look at info most of the time. We're going to go ahead and warp out to the first one. And just so you guys know, <clears throat> I'm not actually looking at info on any of these before we're doing it. This is uh, an exercise for me just as much as it is for you guys because I am testing myself as well because I want to get better at just doing it in general being able to see kind of just at a glance and obviously like even when I you know get to the point where I'm really good at identifying these I'll still look at the info just to get as much information as possible I'm warping to 100 just because you never know if anybody's got bubbles on it or anything and I can already tell you right now that aura this is really high in its life it's you know got a lot of life left in it this is going to be a large ship. It's going to allow large ships through there. So let's go and look at it. Let's get a good idea. Kind of looks like 
it could almost be C5 a little bit, but I got a little hint of like Galante Green in there as well. Kind of rotate around. It's kind of dark too, so it could also be like. It could be null as well. I don't really see any of the brighter colors that are in a C5. So I definitely think this is a null hole. A null capital dread hole. As far as Empire Space, it could be. I think it's Galante. Probably Galante Space. Let's go and look at it. Ooh, low security. So it is actually an Empire Space. And very large. So we got that right. We got the uh, the size right, which is this aura right here. It's just low sec is going to be darker. I'm actually going to go through this. I'm going to go through this just so we can. I want to just verify what kind of space it is because it looks kind of. I can kind of see a like faint green around, but it could also be a Mars space. But see, when you're way out here, you kind of see that green tint a little bit. See how fast we can get over there. I think that's going to be probably my most difficult, my most difficult thing is like, I'm pretty good at discerning null sec because it, they're really, really dark. And I think um, Empire Space is going to be a little difficult. I mean, like, Galante Green is is pretty noticeable. Which is why I feel like this is Galante. Like, I see just so much green into it. Go and enter Wormhole. Just so when we get close enough, we can go and jump through. So low scary, a little dark, not as dark as null. It's a Mars base. So yeah, the, getting up close like that. Yeah, it's a Mars base. And so, and also we can actually reference this on the other side too. You, know, you can see this. That's a... Uh, Cause we're that we were in Thera, so that's what Thera looks like. But I'm gonna go ahead and go back through since we're kind of not really wanting to <clears throat> get into any get into any trouble here. And so that'll be the first one. We got some. Uh, we gotta wait for the next one, but yeah. So we're learning, right? We got the mass down, and I was actually right. Um. I, I think I initially said like you know null space, null space, but I think null is just going to be dark. You know, it does not have any discerning empire colors. We're going to go ahead and ignore this or ignore this result since we already know we've been through that one. We're going to go ahead and kind of burn out away from this, and then we will go and work on the next one and uh, see how we do. Let's go ahead and get started on the second wormhole. We'll go ahead and fly out to 100. We probably won't go through this one just to uh, minimize our exposure a little bit, but it was kind of interesting to pop in that little low sec system on that last one. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, the R's are pretty distinguishable, so that's another large. That is Galante low sec. But, let's just get a closer look, just to make sure. Definitely Galante green. It's really dark too really dark it's definitely not a C class actually I think I'm gonna go with uh, probably Galante low see how we do yep low security very large ships 
and I know it's going to be Galante. It's super green, right? Now that we've kind of built a baseline, Null is going to be super dark, much darker. You won't even see any tint of any colors or anything. So, awesome. Did really well on that one. And that's kind of the goal, right? We want to be able to identify them super quick. We'll, uh, we'll get this next one, and then uh, we'll scan the rest of these and just keep on going. All right, let's get in warp here. Do our normal out to 100. I'm flying a buzzard to do this because I just feel a lot safer in my covert ops. And my scan, <clears throat> my scan strength on this ship is 182, which is pretty high. I'm, I'm running virtues, I'm running like a full, a full clone. So, all right. So I think I'm pretty sure at this point every Thera wormhole is going to be extra large. That looks like null sec to me. Let's get a closer look at it. Yes, that's super dark. Super, super dark. So we're going to say null sec and very, very large. Yep, null security. Very large ships. Pretty sure everything in there is going to be very large. Alright. Go ahead and ignore that one. And then we will scan these other ones. I'm going to show you guys the scan process. It's uh, not any different than normal. And like I, what I do is, every time I'm scanning, I just double click out in space somewhere just so I'm moving in a direction. Just so I'm not completely static. But I usually just bring my window up. Not too big. We've got about four signatures uh, left in here. So we'll go ahead and launch. Actually, we, what we got to do is we got to decloak. And then we got to launch. And I'm going to use the alt. I'm going to hold down alt. I'm going to scroll wheel up. There is really big, so that's as, as far as it's going to go. Once our cloak is ready to go again, we're going to recloak. I usually zoom in just so I can make sure I'm still cloaked. So I'm going to click on this one. We're just going to go way out here. I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to double click in space. It brings me down to side view. And I'm just going to zoom in. This little area out here, I try to be at least bigger than that. Somewhere like that. And like right over it. And then I usually just hit B for like Bravo. Or you can just run over here. I have it really close by. I can just click it if I want to. D scan is going to be V as in Victor. And then you will analyze if you haven't changed your key bindings, obviously, is a B for Bravo. So we'll get this scanned. This is a little bit more of a uh, slower process, but this is just generally how I do it. And then usually every time I do a scan, I'll just bring it in just a little bit until I really start to kind of nail it down. All right. So at this point, I'm just kind of moving along. It doesn't necessarily have to be right on top, but I've always done it this way. I usually don't skip a AU tick or as far as like the slider goes until I'm in the yellow. Because I don't want to use this, lose the signal. Because when you get down to this low, it's not going to move too much and we're already in one AU so by the time you get to this point you could probably take shortcuts but I'd rather do it like this and not have to like go back up to rescan if I lose detection I always want like a ping back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just probably scan the rest of these and then we will work on identifying the last four We've got everything scanned now, so we're going to go and start working these. Let's go get to the next one. Just try to see how we do. Hopefully we get challenged. Go and warp out there. I actually really enjoy this... Um, activity exercise I guess you could say all right it's another extra large looks like no nope low sec galante another low sec galante space see how we did very large low security and galante just because it's like the green hue so 
We'll go ahead and ignore that result. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Once we, in subsequent videos for this series, as we start getting kind of deeper and we start kind of exploring more C1 through like you know, C6 and things like that, we'll get a little bit more challenged, I think, with the differential variance. Because right now, we're not really getting challenged on the auras. All right, so I'm looking at extra large. This honestly looks like Let's see. It's a little dark. Actually, this is Caldari. This could be Caldari. Caldari low? Caldari low sec? Nope, null, actually. Very blue. So, missing on that one. Very large. But yeah, just the darkerness. I don't remember the other null hole being that dark. So, we missed that one. Two more to go. I think we zoom out. Just I, I think we need to see a Caldari hole just to kind of have a comparison, something to compare it to. Because if we come across something that's really, really blue, like unmistakably like Caldari color, then that would have been easy to identify as null. But like I said, we're doing this. We're going through iterations. Ooh, we should have a different aura on this one. This one is going to be a 20 million kilogram, so be large ships on this one. And let's look at that coloration. That is hmm. That could be C6, maybe. Let's check it out. Nope, high security. So, Mar? Oh, no, 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 that's uh, Minamartar. Oh, uh, yeah. So, it's like medium sized. So, it's like you have small, or you have extra small. But, yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. I guess we haven't seen a Minamartar hole yet, but yeah, that's definitely, if you like zoom in. As the same coloration as the skybox in Metro and all that stuff. Pretty interesting. Alright, so obviously we're not experts yet, so we have to keep practicing. Let's go and hit that last one. Let's see how we do. And just like anything in Eve, right? Eve has a very high learning curve, so anything that we want to be good at we need to practice we need to challenge ourselves exercise and just get better because that's what helps us survive and to accomplish things is when we get mechanics game mechanics down and you know if we're going to be doing wormhole stuff we want to be able to just be able to identify that stuff and also another thing you can realize too is like the aura and the size and everything will go down as things um, as it ages as well you won't really notice it till it jumps from like 50% to like 10 but so this is another medium and I mean that one looks just like the other one we just did so I mean it could be no nah, it's it still looks like high sec high sec minimartar yeah so that one's just like the other one well, that was good. We got to see a little bit of variance in everything. I thought this was an interesting exercise. And we'll try to do this in every every kind of installment in this series. We'll try to do this a little bit as well. So when I, you know, bookmark holes and when, before we go into stuff, we'll <clears throat> try to just identify. And, and I'll talk more about bookmarking and, and things like that as we kind of progress through this whole thing. But... I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something because that's what this is all about. It's about education, entertainment. So we're just going to keep at it and we're just going to become uh, <laughs> wormhole wanderers, as it were. So uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the members of the channel for making 
this whole channel possible and everything. So, yeah, hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.